All right, guys, um, in this video, we're going to start building up our, our nice dynamic graph underneath our, our table. And in our planning, we said this graph is going to be over time, so dates on the x-axis, and we're going to be able to pick something about load, something about wellness, and the group. So let's go here and say, okay, so we're going to pick our cohort of interest or position, whatever the group is, however you think about these, these people. Um, whatever context you want to think about that in. Say load, load picker, on this picker, and the graph is going to go here somewhere. So th there are a couple things to do here first. Ideally, let's think about how we want to interact with this thing. Um, it would be cool to have drop downs and pick from drop downs and compare things to one another in that way. Uh, and the best way to do that, in my opinion, is to have a reference sheet. So I'm going to add a new sheet. I'm just going to call it reference. And we'll probably throw some other things in here too eventually. And what we want to put in this reference sheet is what we want to pick from these drop-down menus. I'm going to name them. I'm going to say cohort of interest. And I'm going to say load. I'm going to say readiness or readiness or wellness. And then we're going to define what those things are. Our metrics, oops, our, our metrics that we have are RPE duration, SRP. Those are load metrics. And you know what? We'll throw grade in there too, just for now. Um, so we have RPE duration, SRPE grade. Right, this, isn't, this doesn't look very pretty, but that's okay. It's a reference sheet. No one's going to see it. For readiness, we might have... So we'll have stress, sleep quality, energy, readiness score. Stress, sleep quality, energy, readiness score. And cohorts of interest, athletes, general pop, special youth. Let's say athletes, gen pop, youth, special. Perfect. And what we're going to learn how to do in this video essentially is create a couple drop down menus. So the way that we do that is we use something called data validation. If you go into your data tab here, there's it used to show up say data validation, but this is what the icon looks like now. If you scroll over it, it'll say data validation. And you can use this to create drop down menus. So here I'm I'm, I'm gonna remove these things and I'm gonna color a couple boxes yellow just so I know that they're do not touch those boxes. I'm going to click on the cell, go to data, use that data validation, and you're going to see a box pop up like this. I'm going to go to a list, and now it's asking me for the source of that list, and I'm going to click on this arrow here, go to my reference sheet, and select the list or the items in the list. Go back, click OK. And now what we'll see here is in this, there's a little arrow thing that pops up and I can pick athletes, general population, youth, et cetera. I'll cohort and I'll call this load and I'll call this uh, readiness. Just uh, again, we'll, we'll clean this up later. Right now we're working on functionality again. So let's do the same thing. Let's do data validation, list, Source, we're going to go in here. This is the load one. We'll pick those. Even though grade is not load, that's fine. Again, let's just see. Okay, duration. And let's do the same thing here. Data validation. List. Go to the source. And there we go. Now we have a couple lists of things. And... I think that that's all all that I want to do in this video. In the next one, it's going to be a really it's going to be a really intense calculation that that we're going to do. Um so so get get ready for that one.